HUD is seeking public feedback for plan changes to the loan origination documents used for the FHA-backed Home Equity Conversion Mortgage, or HECM. The particulars of that policy can be found in the Federal Register, and we have provided a link to that on our podcast episode on HECMworld.com. The first notable change is a revised anti-churning disclosure. A new table will include the mortgagee's or lender's best estimate of the total cost of refinancing a HECM loan and the estimated increase to the principal limit. In addition, the mortgagee must certify that the figures are as accurate as possible, and the borrower must acknowledge that notice with their signature. Also, the anti-churning statement includes a warning of criminal liability for anyone who files a false claim or statement. But perhaps most interesting is a move away from the form that HECM professionals are well familiar with, the 1009 or Fannie Mae residential loan application for reverse mortgages. HUD is seeking to discontinue the 1009 and move to the traditional or forward loan application, that is the 1003 uniform residential loan application. The agency also seeks to collect additional data in a yet-to-be-published form, 92900C. The loan level data would supplement the data collected on the 1003 standard residential loan app. Now, once enacted, all HECM applications will include the following forms. First, the Fannie Mae Form 1003 Standard Residential App, HUD Form 92900C, and Fannie Mae Form 1103 Supplemental Consumer Information, which has, by the way, been adopted by the mortgage industry at large and is being added to the information collection. The deadline to submit your comments is April 25th. Yes, that's just a couple of weeks away. Earlier, Heckam World reported that older California homeowners that were impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic and who thus needed financial assistance to pay their overdue property taxes or their homeowners insurance premiums could seek help from the California Mortgage Relief Program. Now, that window of opportunity is quickly coming to an end for the program that began in December of 2021. In a press release dated March 27th, the agency said it is entering the final phase of funding with a limited amount of federal funds remaining. The program has equitably distributed over $800 million in more than 33,000 grants to families facing pandemic-related financial hardships to avoid foreclosure and stay in their homes. Approximately $177 million remains from the original $1 billion allocation of the American Rescue Plan funds that were sent to the state. Launched at the height of the pandemic in December 2021, the California Mortgage Relief Program was tasked by the state of California with dispersing its allocation from the American Rescue Plan Act's Homeowner Assistance Fund, or HAF, which was the largest allocation of any state in the union. Now, over the past two years, the program has focused on helping those in the most urgent need and then adapting to assist even more vulnerable California homeowners. With an average award nearing $25,000, thousands of California homeowners have been provided with peace of mind in maintaining home ownership, says the website. One recipient wrote California Mortgage Relief saying, I want to express my deep gratitude for your recent financial support to our family. During these unprecedented times, you were the only helping hand that tried, trusted, and helped us. Your help and tremendous support are appreciated. Now, reverse mortgage professionals watching today with California borrowers, they should be immediately contacting any previous homeowner who they think may be struggling and paying their property charges and who are in need of such assistance before it runs out. Many reverse mortgage professionals are unfamiliar with just how HUD handles properties with a HECM loan after the last borrower or non-borrowing spouse has passed away. This week, I found an interesting announcement from HUD's Office of Asset Sales. Now, their website states that the office coordinates the sale of single-family health care and multifamily mortgage notes. Nonprofits, government agencies, and for-profit businesses are all eligible to bid on the sale, and HUD will also consider offers from joint ventures and other partnerships between various enterprises. HUD vacant loan sales, which were first introduced in 2016, emerged as a means to help increase the supply of housing through the disposition of assets. As much as 50% of an offering is sometimes prioritized for nonprofit and government organizations in the hopes that providing increased housing and home ownership opportunities for residents who are making under 120% of the median income. These sales help offset loss claims filed against the Mutual Mortgage Insurance Fund. 
HVLS 2024-2 will be up for bid on May 7th and comprises approximately 1,200 notes with loan balances close to $346 million. The sale consists of due and payable residential loans that are secured by First Lien Heckams where the borrowers and non-borrowing spouses are now deceased, said the announcement from HUD's Office of Asset Sales. Settled loan notes that have been auctioned off totaled 10,280 units, and approximately 52% of them came from 10 states. Florida leads the list with 13%, with Texas in second place at 7 then California, Illinois, and New York all followed at a 5% share each. Now, the latest sale comes as home affordability and inventory issues are increasing in the public consciousness. And that's a wrap for us here at Heckam World Weekly. Thank you for joining us for the nation's only weekly podcast, bringing you reverse mortgage news for mortgage professionals. Don't forget to subscribe, whether it be on Apple Music, Spotify, or Podbean. And we'll see you here next week for more reverse mortgage news on the go.